Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed from the title of the video, this is what we're going over here today and testing out. This is the RMA 1155MC. So the MC is the important part of this video. So it's a true multi-curve plate. It is 100% made in America, made in Iowa. And um, that really is a unique thing, especially at the price point that these plates are coming in at. And uh, basically, if you look at it there, you can see that it's Generally speaking, sappy thickness uh, all the way around. If you're used to sappy plates, you'll know what I mean by that. It has a little bit of padding there on the edges, so that way if you're sliding it in and out of carriers, it does make it a little easier and less likely to snag. On the back there, we do have the ratings, threat level, obviously level four. And this plate comes in at my scale at 8.2 pounds. So not super lightweight. That's gonna be one of the cons of it. There are lighter weight options out there. Of course, for multi-curve, it's gonna be more expensive by a good bit. Um, but a lot of folks rather do like the multi-curve fit because carrying it and moving with it just is a little bit more natural than just a single curve, which most of the competitive options out there are going to be. But, with all that said, we're here to destroy armor because that's what we do. Along the way, we'll probably show you what it can stand up to, what it can't stand up to, to give you guys a good idea of what you get if you're looking at picking up one of these. And with that, let's get to shooting it. We've got the plate down range at about 10 yards, so pretty darn close. And we're gonna go hardest thing up first to see if it can handle it. We have our armor piercing. You can see that black tip on there, 30-06. This is the standard for level four. So if it stops this, it essentially has met the standard. And uh, it's a tough round to stop without question. Obviously we have it coming out of my 1903 here, which has plenty of barrel length here. And it's gonna be humming in there. We'll see. <laughs> Let's check it out. Next up, we have some 855 green tips, as you guys can probably see there. It's a little cloudy out, it's stormy. Nothing I can do about it, guys. We film when we film. We have a 10.3 inch Geisley URGI machine gun here, and we're gonna shoot a few in there. Now, where the actual ceramic is already compromised, if it hit there, it'll probably go through. If not, should stop it, we'll find out. But those green tips are something that some armor does have a difficult time with. Let's check it out. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, I am getting a little bit too good at controlling full auto fire. And I was basically thinking I would start in the center and kind of go up like normally happens, but nope. I was able to keep that one right on line. And most of those rounds were delivered within this little uh, region right there, with the exception of this one right here. But one of them did get through. And that's because, like I said, yeah, I bet it didn't hit any ceramic at all. And the ones that did hit ceramic obviously were stopped. So anyway, we're gonna keep going just to kind of show the multi-hit capability of this plate. but. It died, I didn't mean for it to die, but my full auto skills are just unfortunately too good. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Right after my last comment about it being stormy, it started raining, but we're continuing on anyway. We have the MNP 12 loaded up with some challenge, uh, number four buckshot, challenger rather, number four buckshot. So it's gonna be hitting and uh, we'll see what it'll do here on this damaged plate. As you guys probably saw there in that slow-mo, it hit it pretty darn well and all the pellets were kept in. So basically it went around like that. And uh, again, number four buckshot pellets, absolutely nothing went through. So again, just wanna reemphasize, if we didn't have that one just stacked on top of each other, or it could've been two stacked on top of each other, who knows, um, then the plate would be able to keep going, which we'll prove again here with the next test. Next up, we have the MP5 running some 115 grain minute ammunitions ammo out of there. So, as far as nine millimeter goes, it's the hardest for armor to stop because it is going the fastest. So we'll see what it'll do here, a little burst. Let's check it out. I 
As the slow motion footage already showed you guys, we had plenty of hits on there with that MP5 and no further pass throughs. We could keep going here for a long, long time, but I don't want to draw the video out for you guys. And it's raining, of course, as well. Um, but yeah, this thing lived up to its rating for sure. I killed it faster than I thought it thought I wanted to, but hey, it is what it is. That's how we do the tests out here. We just go for it. But yeah, multi-hit rated for sure, as you guys saw with the buckshot and the nine millimeter and really all of the other M855 rounds that didn't go through, right? So if it just hit a different portion of it, you'd be just fine. So earlier in the video, I mentioned price point on these. Uh, right now they're $159. And again, all made in America, 100% made in America in Iowa and $159 multi-curve plates. You're really not going to see any competition, at least that I'm aware of right now, at that price point that's made in America. I just, I don't know of any. Um, so they performed to standard as expected. We've done plenty of RMA tests here in the past. They've always performed, um, you know, up to their level rating. So it's exactly what I expected them to be. And I think it's an option that a lot of guys want because a lot of guys want multi-curve and a lot of guys want made in America. So if you're looking for it, then that's a pretty good price, in my opinion, for what you're getting. So if you guys have any questions, you can always post those down below in the comment section. Throw that one on the ground. You can post those over in the comment section. You can also post it at any of my social media that you see here on your screen. If you like this video, like I said, do not subscribe. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. This is what we do all the time. Um, additionally, if you are subscribed, you're not seeing two to four videos a week. Definitely uh, make sure you hit the notification bell. If you've done that, you can sign up for my email list at the website on your screen here. Uh, at most, basically one or two emails will go out per month. It's not super spammy, but it just has all of the videos since the last email went out. So that way there's no social media giant censoring your eyes from my content. Um, and then additionally, if this plate goes on sale or anything else goes on sale for that matter, you can sign up for my daily deals email list, which is here on your screen as well. That one, as the name implies, pretty much goes out daily and it's all the good deals that I find along the way for that particular day so that way you guys can save yourself some time and some money along the way because you don't have to look. I do the looking for you and it just shows up in your inbox like magic. So there is that. That's all I have for you at this point, guys. Again, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.